Switzerland is perfect. Guten Tag Elsa Eitz, mein Name ist Jonathan Ratibol, BSTM Sa. Ich bin 19 Jahre alt, ich bin ein Kind, ich studiere der Zeit an den Lembre College, ich studiere in der Bachelor of Science in Tourismus Management. Vielen Dank und willkommen von wem aus Join. Geographical Features of Switzerland The name of the country is Switzerland and its capital is Bern and the current population of Switzerland is 8,743,836 as of Tuesday, November 30, 2021. It is based on the Wildometer elaboration of the latest United Nations data. And the flag. This is the flag of Switzerland. The story behind of the flag. The origins of Switzerland red flag with a white cross date back to 1339 and the Battle of Laupin in the canton of Bern. Certain believe that it symbolized of the blood of the Christ, while others suggest that the choice was inspired by the color of the old Venice flag. Throughout its history, the Swiss flag has always had one feature that distinguishes it from all of the nation flag. It is square, not rectangle. The Vatican is the only other sovereign state to have a square flag, and the shade of the red corresponds to Panton, for 85C and it's a mixture of magenta and yellow. The cross is positioned in the center of the flag and its arms are equal length and are one-sixth longer than they are broad. Switzerland had four national languages which is the French, German, Italian and Roman. Though English is not and the official language in this country but it is often used as a bridge to divide and as a significant proportion of official document is in, is in, in English. 20% speak the French language, 64% speak German, and 6.5% speak Italian, and lastly, 1% just speak for Roman. So now, let us briefly discuss the history and the culture of the Switzerland. Let's more on focus on the national dress. Switzerland is home to different kinds of cultures, ethnic groups, and even climates. This has led to significant variations in traditional Swiss clothing as well as in modern times. So, so now let us first discuss about the traditional dress of Switzerland for men. The Swiss men in the Alpine region generally wear the leather hosen, which is basically knee-length pants with suspenders, often made from leather. Leather hosen is flexible, durable, and also help to climb and hike in the mountain terrain. Did you know that bachelors keep a bright red handkerchief hanging from the left pocket of their trousers? It indicates that the man is unmarried. It's an unusual tradition of men in Switzerland and very convenient for Swiss women who are also single. And we have the traditional costume of Switzerland for women. The, the traditional attire of Switzerland for women is quiet like today's, dirndi, which is basically a full skirt and a tight sleeveless top. The top is usually white in color and the rest of the outfit is finished with color for decorations and accessories like stockings, bucket block, slip-on shoes, and a headpiece or hat. Women often wear aprons around the waist to protect the clothing while they're working. First one is cheese fanda. It is a round top of iconic Swiss food. Wouldn't be complete without mentioning this devilishly delicious dish. 
cheese fund is the ultimate comfort food and ideal for sharing with friends and family. It consists of joey melted cheese, traditionally a blend of gruyere, a mental and a pen cellar mixed with other tasty ingredients. Second one is rusty. Crips on the outside and melting on the inside. Rusty is another popular Swiss food and was originally eaten as cheap in simple breakfast by burn farmers. The third one is Bircher Moesli. This is essentially a mix of rolled oat flakes, fruits, nuts, lemon juice, and condensed milk. It is the original recipe entailed soaking the raw oats overnight to help them soften. The fourth one is raclette. This might include small potatoes cooked in their skins, vegetables and cold meats, pickled gherkins, onions, and bread. With a modern raclette grill, you can even melt the cheese on one layer and scrape it over grilled vegetable and meats on another layer. The fifth one is the Bandner Nostorte, also known as the in Janider Nostorte. This sweet caramelized nut filled pastry it is originates from the canton of Graubünden in eastern Switzerland. It is made in small independent bakeries and throughout the canton and many have their own variation on the basic recipe. And the uh, sixth one is the Alpe Magranen. It is sometimes called Herdman's Macaroni. It is a traditional all-in-one dish that originates from the German part of Switzerland. It is uses all the ingredients that were available to the herdsmen who were looking after the cows on the mountain pastures of the slopes of the Alps. Next one is the Sucher Geschnet Celtis. This popular Swiss food, which in German translate to slight meat, surich in surich style. It has been enjoyed throughout the country since the 1940s when it first appeared in cookbooks. The next one is the Saffron Risotto. It is grown in the Swiss canton of Valais. Saffron is an essential ingredient of saffron risotto. This is a traditional dish or dish in Tisuno, the southernmost canton of Switzerland, which shares a border with the Italian regions of the Piedmont and Lombardy. So let's move on on the history of their politics and religion. Unlike in other countries, in Switzerland, no one person is ever head of state. The president of the confederation is the primus inter pares, first among equals for one year, but with the office there still comes a whole series of traditional duties and tasks. The president of the Swiss confederation is elected for one year of office by the United Federal Assembly. The religion the majority of the people living in the Switzerland are Christian. Approximately 38% are Roman Catholic and 27% is Protestant. And there are also many other religions presented in Switzerland. Like in the Philippines, we have in Switzerland have 5% of Muslim, 0.5% Buddhist, 0.3% are Jewish, and the number of people with no religious affiliation has significantly increased in 21.4%. And this is the most exciting part of this report, the tourist attractions and the trivia about the Switzerland. Here are some of the top tourist attractions in Switzerland for tourists planning a Swiss uh, trip. So first one is the Matternhorn. It is the famous Matternhorn is an iconic emblem of the Swiss Alp. Second one is the Chilon Castle. Chilon Castle is located on the shores of Lake Geneva for over four centuries. The water castle was the main fortress that monitored water freight on the lake and guarded the land route 
to St. Bernhard Pass. Jung Frajuj is a cool in the Bernice Alps, accessible by railway, ending at Europe's highest mountain station. Highlights include the views of spectacular or spectacular mountain summits. Bernina Express The Bernina Express is a brightly colored scarlet train that crosses the Alps beginning in the town of Stur and ends in Tirano, just across the border in northern Italy. Rainfalls near Scafonsein is Europe's largest waterfall. It is amazing sight can be reached via boat tour, which will also show visitors to Switzerland the lovely basin. Pilatos in the Lake Lucerno or Lucerni region is the full of legends. The name of the mountain comes from a rumor that the famous biblical Roman governor Pontius Pilate or Pontius Pilate may have been buried there. Medieval Europeans believes that the mountain formed as a dragon rock falling from the sky. Facts about Switzerland. Did you know that the animal in Switzerland have rights? Switzerland is an animal loving country with several laws protecting the rights of their furry friends. Dogs are allowed in restaurants and can eat in them too. Well, owners of some pets have to complete a course on how to take care of them. And there are another one is, the Swiss really do love chocolates. And we all know that the Toblerone is from the Switzerland. And Switzerland has long been known for its fine chocolate. But do you know just how much they eat? One of the sweetest facts about the Switzerland is that Swiss are the world's biggest consumers of chocolate because they ate 10.3 kg per person in 2018. There are also facts about them. They have own lots of guns but has low in crime rate. Among the industrial country, Switzerland has lowest crime rate and there are the most innovative country in the world. Switzerland is scored particularly well for inno innovation in knowledge and technology outputs. The 2018 Global Innovation Index has once again given its top slot to Switzerland in its annual ranking of the world's most innovative nations. Switzerland has ranked first in the GII every year since 2011. And lastly, did you know that in Switzerland, Toblerone can be customized either your name or some of your loved ones? As you can see in the picture, you can see that the name is Change. And yeah, that's it. It's the end of my reporting. Hope you learned something new about the country Switzerland. And thank you for watching.